Microsoft Copilot Studio tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Microsoft Copilot Studio. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So all you got to do is come over here onto copilotstudio.microsoft.com. And once you're over here, you can go ahead and sign up. Or what you can do is just simply go ahead and search for Copilot just simply search for it and it'll appear over here here you can go ahead and get an overview of it here is their main website open it up and this is how it looks like so this is their main website here you can see you can go ahead and try it for free there is a pricing plan but we'll get into that a little bit later so over here as you can see we have an overview of it and this is how it looks like here you get to use the assistant and you can use it to build agents you know add agents to microsoft 365 copilots use one connected platform here is you can see your agent is on a way it's a dyn intelligent dynamic connected ai assistant for employees and customers with copilot studio you can build your own agent which is like you can build your own copilot and over here you can connect it you can generate conversations, you know, turn conversations into action, bring your system to life or connect your agent to your service. You've got design elements over here and even got the enhance elements over here as well. So there's quite a lot of things and quite a lot of capabilities you can do with Microsoft Copilot. And over here, you can go ahead and securely manage and govern your system. So here you can see work with a flexible software as a service platform, use AI responsibly. And down below, you can see the price of Copilot Studio. So over here, Microsoft Copilot Studio is going to cost you $200 per month. And in it, you get 25,000 messages per month. So keep that in mind. And then we have the Microsoft 365 Copilot. It's going to cost you $30 per user per month. It's going to be an annual commitment over here. You can see really not much difference in them. So this is for studio. You can build your own agent available across multiple channels to assist you and your employees this is made for businesses. And over here, you can use Copilot Studio to build agents for Microsoft 365 Copilot. So this is mainly for homes and personal stuff. So over here, you are good to go. So to sign up or to get it, you can go ahead and easily go ahead and start or try it for free. So we can see there's an option to try it for free right here. So we'll click on try it for free. Give it a couple of seconds. And here you are good to go here. Just enter your work email or your school email address. They'll check if you need to create a new account. So just add it over here. I already have a few, so I'm just simply going to add them click on next and looks like we already have a Microsoft customer account. So we're just simply going to go ahead and sign in and we should be good to go. So make sure you get a, you know, either a work email or a student email, right? Gmail or, you know, the standard Outlook email, they're not going to work over here. So then all you got to do is just create an account basically for Copilot. Just enter in your location and your business phone number and you are good to go. And then just simply click on the get started button and we are good to go. So it's loading up over here. So here you're going to have to go ahead and create your own copilot. So give your custom copilot a description name. So it's easy to identify and you can change it later if you need to. Over here, you can change the name, its icon, the description and instructions as well. So you can direct the behavior of the copilot, including its task and how it write, completes them. In the description, you can use your own words to describe what your copilot should help you with, including your audience and goals. So let's go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to call it jack so i'm going to call it jack and change oh if you want you can change the icon and upload your own icon i already have this let's see if, how it looks worse so no this file is 95 kb we have to choose less than 30 kb so we will leave it at that we'll give it jack jack's the name of this copilot and in the description we can add the description but i actually don't know what i want to describe what our copilot should be because i don't know it's a little bit confusing i feel like everyone is going to be a little bit different but yeah over here you can add your own description all right so this is the description that i wrote over here so over here in the description i just basically told that it should provide information about the latest trends in the tech world and give me the best advice in general and in the instruction i told him to keep a friendly tone and be professional but also casual and playful at the same time and also to use simple language to break down information into bullet points so that we can see each point separately and why not use em emojis as well and once we've done that right jack is all set we'll go ahead and click on create and it's going to set up our copilot right here so it's going to set up our copilot it might take a little bit of a while so let's just give it a couple of seconds and let it do its thing so it says right here they'll email us at this and when your copilot is ready so yeah we'll come back here later and once it's installed or 
well once it's ready this is how it will look like this is going to be your copilot right here so this is welcome to copilot studio we'll click on next simpler and better organized we're going to click on next click on done and we are good to go so this is our copilot this is the chat box that we just created we can create different copilots by clicking on the new button we can import copilots if we already have it if we click on import we can go to solutions and find them over there and the home this is going to be your home we have like a template over here so safe travels this is provides answer to common travel questions and related to health and safety guidelines this is going to be the website q a team navigator it help desk case management and store operation so each of these different templates are going to be able to answer you into those specific areas so safe travels of course as the name and description indicates it'll only answer common questions and give us the best answers when related to travel so this is best for when traveling this is best for when website q a's this is for team navigator and help over here we have some other copilot options right here so that we can go ahead and create them and we can get like an expense tracking hr benefits and help desk as well if you want to create we can click over the create button on the left hand side and here we can create them we click on the library it's going to load up and here we have all the applications that are currently available google task asana msn so we can go ahead and connect all of them over here they're all ready but they aren't connected yet and then we have these three dots right here where we can see all the power platforms like the power automate power bi power app power pages and we have the learn more about the ai image generation so we have azure open ai copilot sdk and azure cognitive service as well and then we have solutions so speaking of solutions if we open it up over here here we have some solutions well set your preferred solutions over here these are like the data that it collects us so currently as you can see it's not hasn't been run and hasn't been supported so we'll leave it at that we don't want to mess with that or anything like that so let's go ahead and try some of this out so if we come over here into the copilots right uh, let's go ahead and select the copilot that we created which is this one now I'm going to go ahead and ask some generic questions, right? I haven't trained it yet. I just gave it some background a little bit. So let's go ahead and see what type of answers it comes up with. Basically the generative answers it can, you know, deliver us. So give it a couple of seconds. It's going to load up any second now. Okay. So it's been quite some minutes. It's been like 10, 15 minutes now and it's still loading for some reason. I don't know if it's broken or do I need to create another one, but let's go ahead and go into the create section and maybe use some other ones maybe that will work but i don't know why it keeps loading even though you know it just keeps loading for some reason but if i go with the microsoft one it just loads up perfectly fine and we can go ahead and start using it so let's go ahead and click on create and maybe just select the safe travels one and click on update i think it needs an update or something but yeah over here this is the copilot over here you have the overview and then you have the action and then over here you can go ahead and start using it right so copilot 365 is ready to use and customize so let's see what it looks like so over here we have the describe or use everyday words to describe your copilot we've already done that right so once we come over here i had to reload it and it worked for some reason i think it wasn't ready yet so i reloaded the page and now we have this option right here called agents equip copilot with subject matters over here so over here we could click on the equip button and this will be the agent and i'm here to help you be more productive just describe what you want the copilot agent to do like like show me the best practice of project management or help my teammates on board and stuff like that right so what should I say, can you help me with what to include here? All right. Let's say that you can provide me a brief overview of your purpose of your copilot. This includes the task that it will perform an organization. It is supporting specific subject. It can help with further context. All right. So over here, basically the copilot is asking me to help him or help me create another copilot. I don't know. So here, I'm just simply going to write that. I want to showcase something like that right and we'll click on enter and see what it does so this is basically generative responses this is you know we're just adding and telling it what to do and it should do so here on the right hand side so showcase copilot capabilities to the world your name is showcase copilot you demonstrate the capabilities to the world no 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 that's not your name your name is jack the second right or jack I don't know because the first jack didn't work maybe the second jack will work all right your name is jack second you showcase the copilot's capabilities yes that's actually good as you can see right here it says that now in a few sentences how will your copilot assist your users all right so it will i'm gonna go ahead and write some sentences over here and yeah so something like that and then we'll in click on the send button and yeah let's see what it does so let's see and now it's asking us for a tone i want the tone to be professional but 
also playful and casual at the same time. So I'm going to write that. I want the tone to be playful, but professional. So something like that. I think that looks good and click on enter. Even though I added all of these things into Jack the first, but it didn't work. So let's see if Jack the second works or not. So over here, it's going to add that. Got it. Your copilot will have playful yet professional tones and will use emojis when possible. Are there any topics or tasks the copilot shouldn't talk about? Let's keep all the political and political stuff out of it, right? No political. So let's just get rid of that. And that way, no one will be able to go ahead and, you know, be political. It's just professional. Understood. Your co-pilot will avoid any political conversations or topic. Perfect. You're all set to test your new co-pilot or feel free to keep making changes and we should be good to go. So now that that's done, now that we've configured it, right? So over here, we can see your name is Jack the Second. You showcase your capabilities to the world and assist users in finding information on healthy living. You maintain a playful yet professional tone and use emojis when possible. If the user brings up any political conversation or topic, politely decline to engage and steer the conversation back to healthy living. This is actually good. Then we're going to click on create. Now it's setting up our agent right here. I also forgot maybe we could have added a link to a website that had healthy living in it and we could tell our agent or our co-pilot to get our, well, get its information from all those different websites. But I think it really doesn't matter. We should be good to go. So here we go. This is our agent or this is our co-pilot here. We can add the description. The instructions are over here. We can add knowledge over here. We can add different actions. And down below, we can see the starter prompts or something like this. And then over here, we can ask the questions over here as well. This is going to be a test for our agent. So this is the co-pilot that we created for our business and people can go ahead and ask it for information or ask a questions from here. Also, I just realized, you know, it says right here, test your agents, but over here it says copilot. I think it's because, you know, these are going to be the main options right here. These are copilots and within these copilots, these are the agents that people use. So I guess they're also copilots, but they're known as agents. Maybe let's picture it like this, right? Copilots is the company and agents are the people working within that company. So these are the guys that are actually doing the hard work over here. So now that we've got that confusion out of the way, let's go back over here. So here we have some knowledge, right? We have to fill this out. We can add data files and other resources information to improve the AI responses. So if we click on add knowledge here, we can go ahead and drag and drop our, well, files, but currently there is no option. If we had click on the advanced option, enterprise data connection preview, I think Currently, we can't do all of that. So here we go. If we click on this SharePoint, here we can add the URL, enter a URL of a SharePoint site. So let's go ahead and add some sites. So let's go ahead and copy this one. I just searched for better help over here and it popped up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this website and let's go ahead and add it over here. Click on add. There you go. Let's go ahead and also add our two other websites. Let's go ahead and add this one as well. Click on add and then close these two and add this one which is the nhs add the nhs website over here and also we'll add joinbetter.com maybe yeah and then click on add then it's going to add all of these websites into our the sharepoint and it's going to drive all of its most of its knowledge from these websites so that they're all authentic so give it a couple of seconds and we should be good to go there we go so the knowledge database and of course we can go ahead and add more and it'll work we have actions over here to add actions to empower the AI to complete specific tasks and improve engagement. So if you click on add, we can go ahead and let it do its thing. We, maybe we can go ahead and create an, an entire Excel worksheet over here so that, you know, it can keep track of certain things. If you want to do that, I think it depends on you. So we're going to enable it so that it's, you know, more intelligent. So once that's done, uh, these are the starter prompts over here. If you want, you can go ahead and click on edit and you can change it to whatever you want. So these are going to be the titles. These are going to be the prompt. Can you give me some quick tips on healthy eating over here? You can see these are the quick prompts. So when, you know, let's say someone goes ahead and clicks on this one, all right, it's going to give you these answers right here. Currently it's nothing. Let's go ahead and that's, that was weird. Okay. So currently I am getting this error right here and I think this is a system error. So I'm not sure how to fix this. I tried looking it up online, but there are different fixes for different error codes. For example, this one, when your user clicks, you make HTTP calls, but I don't even, so this one is text to speech capability. So each error is a little bit different. So, but if I come back over here onto Jack, right, the original one, it's now working in working condition and it's actually working pretty good. If I type in hello, it gives me the answer. How are you? 
See, it's doing pretty good. If I want, I can go ahead and set up this copilot. And over here, we can add description, we can add topics, build topics, add action and all of that. Currently, these are all the topics. If we click on add topics, we can find them over here. We can add different topics such as lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. We can click on the knowledge section and add knowledge onto different sections. So, you know, it depends on you. We have actions over here. We can create different actions, analytics and channels as well. So overall, this is a pretty cool concept. And I think Jack 2 was going to be the better version of jack one but apparently some sort of system error has occurred so i need to start all over again so i'm just simply gonna not do that and guess we're back to jack one the original so jack one is pretty much done all that's left for us to do is to add topics and different types of topics if you want you can edit the introduction a little bit and add the knowledge as i said before so let's go ahead and add those knowledge and we'll add public websites over here as well like for example this better health website we'll add that over here click on add it should work so now if I ask it about any fatigue question, maybe it'll work. So let's go ahead and see. So let me just reload this over here. And how do I manage my fatigue? Let's see what it, and it's given us a quite an interesting answer over here. So as you can see, pretty good answer. It's working fine. And all that's left for us to do now is to publish the bot or publish the copilot or publish Jack and click on publish. And there we go. It's as simple as that. Now, there are a bunch of things that I need wanted to show you, but currently they aren't available to me right now. But yeah, I think this is it. This is how you do it. And as you can see, our copilot was published and our users will now see the new content soon. So pretty simple. This is how you do it. This is how you set up copilot and this is how you use copilot as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.